Hey, what's going on, guys? It is Skullside back again with another Minnesota Vikings video. Listen, off the back, or off the bat, I just need to say thank you. We just hit 800 subs, and it seriously means a ton to me. I mean, seeing the support we've gotten on the channel recently, seeing the kind of community we grow, I mean, that's all thanks to you guys. I mean, honestly, when I started this, I kind of was just like, hey, maybe we'll hit 100. And then once I hit 100, I was just like, maybe we'll hit 500. I never really viewed 800, even 1K as possible. And I know that's not a immense number. I just didn't really know if I had what it takes. But I put a lot of work in this, and you guys – obviously like watching the video so honestly this is all on you guys thank you guys so much seriously anyways that's the positive of the video now i'm going to be bashing the vikings offensive coordinator we're going to be talking about gary kubiak and that drive after the cameron dantzler interception it was awful frankly one of the worst play calling drives i've seen him since i've been a vikings fan and it is just mind-boggling to me that's what we're going to be talking about in this video gary kubiak awful Awful, awful, awful play coin on that last drive after the Cameron Dantzler interception. Again, thank you guys for 800 subs. That's the only positive you guys are getting from me. It's going to be a lot of negative in this video. Not negative, just I just really need to critique Kubiak, and I think he deserves it. This is not 1970 anymore. I've been saying that for a while. Anyways, let's talk about Gary Kubiak's play calling against the Chicago Bears right now. All right, guys, in the top left of your screen right now. So this was the Mitchell Trubisky interception that I was talking about. This, listen, this is a huge momentum play. I mean, there's three minutes left in the game. Bears are literally about to knock us out of the playoffs if they get a touchdown right here. And this is a huge momentum play. Trubisky snaps the ball, makes a – I mean, I don't know where he was going. I mean, I could see it if he was trying to low point this ball to commit or, or not commit, just one of these receivers over here. But he throws it up top. It's not up top enough where it's like back pylon. I mean, he just kind of throws one up. I mean, really awful throw by Trubisky. But then again, here's momentum. I mean, you see everybody, they're rallying. This is what I'm saying where the Vikings don't understand momentum that well. And now I'm going to be getting into the drive after when it was 30 to 27. You got 245 left on the clock and two timeouts. And you probably call the three worst plays of the entire season, Gary Kubiak. Awful. All right. So again. What did I just say? We have 2.57 left. We have two timeouts, and we have the ball on the 20-yard line. You get, let me think. I mean, you get, I mean, for Dan Bailey, it might be different, but you go get 50 yards, and you're feeling pretty confident that you can go win this game in overtime and at least tie the game up. And you you got time to go get seven, too, which is why this makes this so frustrating. So you come out. You, like, you come off, you, listen, you come off the interception, and you come out under center, first off, I have a problem with that regardless. Unless, I mean, what, are you going to go bootleg? I mean, it, with, I mean, it just makes no sense to me. They come out, they motion Thielen, which, all right, good. I like them motioning. I mean, their running game is so bland. But, I mean, you pull, I mean, I just don't get this play call. I mean, there's a hole here. I mean, maybe Dalvin missed it. No, but then he was coming off his block right here, too. I mean, just kind of running into a stone wall. I mean, there were lanes, but that's a really tough cutback for Dalvin. I mean, if you would have seen that, maybe, but you just run into a brick wall. And my, my, my problem is, is just you're coming out running the football. I mean, that's I mean that's terrible. I mean, look at this. I mean, yes, I like the motion. And then you pull OBC over there. But, I mean, listen, Dalvin, that hole looks there. I mean, what do you want? I mean, if you're a running back, you're not bouncing here because you got that guy right here. This hole, you could split that and you could get out and get up. Again, closes the gap because the Vikings offensive line. Again, you're trying, you're relying on your offensive line to go win you a game against the Bears front seven. That's where I get so frustrated. Awful, awful play call right there by Kubiak. You, you, I mean, you just ran a, you just ran a 01 trap with two dudes pulling. I mean, that was terrible, which is pretty much equivalent of a halfback dive without, I mean, with the motion. So. Okay, so on this play, I didn't mind the play call. You know, they're running five – or, yeah, they're running four routes on the field. I don't know how they're only running four. Or, yeah, okay, well, they're running some routes right here. And, listen, you got the fade route on the right side. I don't – I wouldn't throw that. I think that's all BC over there. You got Irv here, but you hit – you could either hit Jefferson over here. That's a tough throw. I mean, that's coming across the field. But then you decide to check down the Dalvin Cook. Which, you'll see, this is the completely right read from Cousins. And Dalvin just gets tripped up. So, I mean, listen, hypothetically, if he doesn't get tripped up, he's got a lot of room, and we're probably at, like, the 40-yard line. I mean, knowing Dalvin, this could be housed. Doubt it, but it could be. 
But then again, you come out and your first two plays are run, check down, run again, as you see in the following play. Listen, this is not on Cousins. This is, I mean, this is the right read. I mean, where do you want him to go? Again, the O-line not holding up at all. I mean, look at Dozier, dude. Like, Dozier is dog shit. I mean, Dozier is terrible. Look at this. It's just a simple inside stunt. Look at that. He's already got a dude in his face. Cousins knows he has to get rid of the ball quick. He didn't even have to. I mean, maybe you throw that. Jefferson's got Trevathan on him. But, I mean, he sees this. That's a lot of space for Dalvin. He led him really well, too. And that corner, just number 20, made a hell of a tackle right there. Okay, so this play absolutely drives me mad this play is something I see a high school coach call and this is honestly embarrassing I mean I honestly I mean there is a good chance that I think I could have done a better job calling plays on this drive so keep this in mind the Vikings missed a fourth and one from their own 37 early on in this game they it was a terrible play call they ran a halfback dive even the announcers were saying it why would you run that what are you thinking there's 220 left in the game first off there's 220 left in the game you're not trying to, like, I mean, you're also using clock management. You're trying to go win this game. You're trying to win this. And this is what you call on third and one. I get it, Dalvin Cook. But you're also going against a Bears front seven with your offensive line. And we're out of shotgun running the football. I mean, this is abs. I mean, this is, t- there is no elite running scheme here. All you do is pull a tight end and hand the ball off. I mean, like, what, like, what, what are they thinking? What are they think? Like Kubiak. I don't know if this is Zimmer in his ear, but this is not 1975. This is awful. I mean, look at this. I mean, you can't even, like, of course the Bears, they got one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, everybody, listen, if everybody holds their block, yes, this play will work. That's like in every play in the NFL. But we're going against a Bears front seven. Again, Bradbury, like, oh, my God. I mean, this is just absolutely disgusting. This is absolutely disgusting. Uh, Irv just gets absolutely destroyed by Robert Quinn. Hell of a play by him. I'm going to slow this down because this is, this is brutal. This is brutal right here. Look at this. So, yeah, there's no real, like, clear lane right now. I mean, Dalvin could have maybe just ran it up here and just dove. For, he's got to have better self-awareness. But then again, I mean, is this a read option with Cousins? I mean, is this a read? I mean, I would, I'd run a read option right now. I mean, that's going to be wide open. I mean, Cousins would literally have all this space. That would be hilarious. Irv comes down here, just gets his ass blown up. I mean, Irv, Irv had a terrible game. Blown up, Robert Quinn gets, that is a hell of a play by Robert Quinn. But again, that's, that's, that's the Bears' strength. It's not rocket science, guys. Okay, so this is the fourth down play where they run this little play action pole read. I don't know what the hell this is. They motion Irv, or motion Conklin into like this wing formation, which, okay, I mean, sure, Whatever, but so Jefferson's running across. I think Thielen's running a corner right here, and let's just keep this in mind. You'll you guys you guys you guys will see it better from another angle. I'm I'm not gonna talk yet because this is absolutely disgusting. Uh, they just don't account for another guy being blocked. I don't know if they can. I mean, then you got to use a timeout if you see a guy lined up like that. That's bad coaching too. But Jefferson really came wide open here, so I don't hate this play call as much as I hate the other ones but this is just like you're trying to do too much you're trying to do stuff you never really done I mean Jefferson's got all this room I mean if they account for this guy and they hit Jefferson I mean he's taking this and he's getting a lot of yards but again he doesn't Cousins has to throw some bullshit up because that's the only play to make and it's just really sloppy football I mean here we'll slow this down yeah you motion Conklin which I like I get it motion him throws the defense off you can read it better but what the hell is O'Neal doing? I mean, is this – okay, so hypothetically, let's just say coaching said, O'Neal, this is a down block. So down block, you ignore the D-end, you down block. And then Irv has cl- two guys right here. He's got cl- – I don't think Irv is supposed to block here. Yeah, he's not. He is supposed to run a route. This is, like, incredibly bad coaching. The fact that they lined up like this, and you have – him running a down block. Okay, just think about this. I all right. This is this this was the worst play call. I just saw this now. Call a timeout, cousins. You have to see this, dude. You have O'Neal having a down block, so he is going to here. I just voice cut here to here. Conklin c- coming over. Cook coming over. So Cook's not going to be there. So hypothetically, they have two guys here who are going to be unblocked, 
and that's Khalil Mack. You don't account for Khalil. Oh my God, this is disgusting. This is awful. He, sh- you know what? He should be fired. He should be fired. He should legitimately be fired. So this clears Dalvin out. Dalvin's gone. They, I mean, what do you think he's gonna? What do you think ninety two is gonna chase Dalvin all the way over there? No, he's not. It's a simple read look, and then look. Hey, Conklin, you might yeah hit this guy a little harder, but that doesn't really make a difference. He just sits on it. This dude just sits on the play call. Hell of a play by him. Good read. But now you got three dudes running after Cousins. I mean, it is just. It, I mean, it's numbers, man. I mean, I mean then what? I mean, Cousins maybe try to if he was more athletic, he could get up there hit Irv. But I mean, I mean hit uh, Jefferson. But whatever. I don't even want to see the rest of this play. That is. I mean, that is some of the worst play call I've ever seen in my life. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. It means a lot. The support on the channel. Gary Kubiak. I mean. I mean, I want to know what you guys think. Whatever. Leave a like. Comment down below. I want to hear everything. Awful. Just frankly awful from Gary Kubiak on that last drive. See you guys later. Skull Vikes.